and welcome to another video. My name's Shaquita, Beauty and the Queen, and on today we will be doing this nice fall look that came out so pretty, so classy, so, you know, just, just giving me all the feels, a very nice glamorous look. So if you're interested in seeing what products I used and how I accomplished this look, then you may want to continue watching and if you like the content then make sure you like this video it really helps your girl out and grow her following and click the bell so you won't miss any posts any videos of mine i like to do beauty fashion and lifestyle with emphasis on fashion and yeah let's get into the video okay you guys so we're gonna kick it right into gear with the video First off, I'm starting off with my first primer. I'm actually going to be using two primers on this video. This just allows my skin to be nice and smooth and prep before applying foundation. I notice I get my most flawless looks when I prime first. And then afterwards, I'm just setting my brows with powder just to kind of like dry them out because I don't want a shiny brow. So this just allows it to get nice and mattified and then I go in with tracing my natural brows and then filling them in as needed all the products that I will be using in this video will be on the screen for you in case if I don't remember to put them in the description box below so usually I take out the whole brow process of my videos but I decided to include them since I haven't did it in a while and just cleaning up the brows to give me a nice sharp and clean brow looking like they're freshly arched and then I'm just going to drag that concealer that I used to clean up my brows on my eyelids to mute them out so it'll be even toned and then now to the concealer part I'm just using my e.l.f. cosmetics camo concealer and I'm just basically balancing out those dark spots just trying to get rid of them again to give me an even tone i want to look nice and dimensional and yeah you can't do that with a dark under eye but it is optional you don't have it's up to you how many shades you go lighter than your skin complexion or if you just want to stay a nice even tone next i dotted my foundation all over my face um, and now I'm just using patent motions with my Real Techniques brush and just making sure that everything is blended and it is blended well into the concealer. And you also want to make sure you blend that concealer all the way down. That way once you apply your foundation you'll have a nice transition and you won't be able to see where the foundation and concealer start and stop. Next, contour. And I'm just applying it to all the places that I want to add shadow to the face. Again, we want to create a nice dimensional face, but still staying true to our skin complexion. Afterwards, I'm using patting motions, patting and swiping motions to just blend in the contour. And you just want to make sure that you just using, you don't want to swipe too hard or you're going to move the product a little too much and then it becomes streaky. streaky. Once you do that, go back in with your foundation brush and just make sure everything is blended well. Afterwards, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just setting everywhere I applied those liquids. That way my face won't move and then it'll add longevity to my makeup also. So once you do that, um, I'm gonna use the Translucent Powder to set where I put the concealer. And then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder to set the rest of my face. Um, that way it'll stay in place. And then afterwards I'm going to use a little uh, bronzer by Makeup Revolution. And then I'm going to go into my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish just to make sure I don't have any flashback when it comes to flash photography. Okay, so now it is time for the eyes. Um, I just 
opted for a nice halo eye using like different shades of green of course i'll put the name of the eyeshadow palette on the screen for you guys in case if you know you want to try it out check it out go purchase it what have you and yeah so it's not too much with this eye um i just want to get on screen and just do my makeup and just you know look good because i was getting ready to take pictures you know i didn't really have to do this much on the eyes but i just chose to because i didn't want to opt for something neutral and boring i just want to give a little pizzazz but not too much but still making it fall appropriate and yeah and i thank you guys for sticking in with your girl and i hope you guys enjoy the content and just make sure that you share the video and just kind of like help me boost you know getting my channel exposed it'll be greatly appreciated and don't forget you guys if you haven't already make sure you follow me on facebook and instagram if you have those social media channels and everything and i have a lot of things in store for the future and i hope you guys are ready for it my goal is to at least try to hit 300 by the end of this year and i believe i can do it with a lot of work and dedication and of course with you guys support and help tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that shaquita is posting yes look at her why wouldn't you want to support her okay everyone and this is the final look for this video i hope you guys really enjoyed it if so you already know what to do subscribe if you haven't already and to my current subscribers thank you so much for being a follower of mine i hope you guys really enjoyed it and also make sure you thumbs up the video that really helps out my channel and start suggesting it to future new subscribers and click the bell so you won't miss any time i upload a video and i just did a nice halo eye curled my hair and this is pretty much giving me fall look so I won't, hold, I won't hold you guys up any longer i've already talked enough through the video because i will be doing uh voiceovers and yeah i'll talk to you in the next video take care bye